with Hereford's goalkeeper Martin Horsell. Uh, in your history, personally, uh, how does that rank in terms of an FA Cup success? Yeah, no. On a personal note, that's uh, that's up there. Um, you know, all the boys are delighted in the change room, um, but personally, that, that's a highlight in the FA Cup for me. Because one of the pivotal moments was your save in the first half from uh, Dinanga. I thought he was bound to score, but you spread yourself well. Yeah, no, I, um, I stayed big for as long as possible. Um, I managed to save it with the bottom of my studs, actually, um, and then obviously get on the follow-up. So, uh, yeah, I was pleased with that one. Was it a difficult game for you? Because some of the catches I thought were top top notch today. Really pleased today in regards to uh, my cross taking. Um, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Certainly in the conditions, because at the times you know the wind was high and then dropping. Um, yeah, so delighted. And Telford made it difficult because they were going to put the ball into the uh, danger area as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, as long as the, the lads help me out and keep a high starting line, um, you know, I feel confident. Hopefully, they got confidence in, in me as well to come and claim crosses. So I do believe it's one of my strengths. Albeit at the Wembley, <laughs> um, but certainly you know uh, lately coming for the crosses and feeling confident. Yeah, but you got Jack Damon who's winning most of the in the air in front of you. That gives you extra confidence, and of course Ryan Green as well. Yeah, no, I thought you know all four back there were outstanding. Um, Dara, especially the age he is, um, Greeny, you know, solid and, and consistent, and of course Jack that's come into the fold and yeah, he's winning those headers. How is Ryan? Because he seemed to have a problem with his Achilles again in the first half. Yeah, I think um, Johnny. I look at him after. I'm not sure the the verdict, but um, you know, he, he's he's an athlete. He's a soldier. So uh, knowing Greeno, you know, he'll keep battling on. And what's it like in the dressing room? Are there real celebrations in there? Yeah, yeah, the boys are buzzing. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a good good spirit in the change room, and you know we're looking forward to the draw, and um, yeah, it, in good spirit. Really. And who would you plump for if you had a chance? One of your former clubs, maybe? Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure did Bristol Rovers get through. Did, yeah, I haven't really checked yet, but um, certainly, um, you know, I c we can think bigger as well. You know, some bigger clubs out there that you know could uh, could be interesting. Might be a, an FA Cup winner of years ago in the draw somewhere. There's a lot, there is a lot in uh, League One and League Two. Big ground, maybe somewhere like Blackburn. Yeah. Um, you know, as much as I love Edgar Street, <laughs> uh, the opportunity to play at one of those stadiums certainly, um, you know, you know, the lads will thrive off that. So um, there'll be some big teams in there with some fantastic facilities and pitches. Um, you know, a good away draw would be good. But of course, you know, we, the lads like playing at home as well. How much do the fans help you? You know, in your with your performance, of being behind you. Oh, massive! Yeah, they always are. They're, they, you know, they always feel like they're on my side. Um, yeah, they've taken to me quite well, I think. Um, so, yeah, thanks for the fans for being quality today and uh, roaring and loud. Because obviously Alex Harris is back as well now. Yeah, it's good to have Alex back. You know, absolutely. You know, but I know what Alex is about. He knows what I'm about. So, uh, the dynamics and training is competitive, and you know, that's that's what Bees wanted from you know the get-go um, competition or all, all um, positions. But um, yeah, I was back, and yeah, we're having a tussle at the moment and keeping the shirt. So. Well, congratulations today, and uh, yeah. as I said to John Mills, long may it continue. Yeah, no, cheers. Yeah.